Hey everyone, it's Ness here at Cake Style. Today is all about piping, piping and more piping. I'm going to be using some traditional piping tips to create all of these little swirls and little puffs of frosting and you guys are just going to love how this turns out. I'm also going to be sharing with you the recipe for this cake. It's a beautiful strawberries and cream flavor. There's some gorgeous strawberry flavor in the cake and then I have used buttercream with some whipped cream and milk in there to make it super fluffy and creamy and delicious. As you can see, it's nice and stable still so that you can stack it up. I'm using a 1A large round tip to do this and I just want to fill in these cake layers and then I'm going to pop it into the fridge to allow it to chill before we do our crumb coat. As you may have noticed, I've been making lots and lots of recipes lately for you guys. Um, I've been having so much fun in the kitchen coming up with new combinations. This cake is totally different to any of my other recipes. I've made it a little bit fluffier, but still firm enough that we can add lots and lots of piped frosting. I think this is going to be a real go-to recipe for me, so I'd love for you to check it out on the blog. I've got the link to it in the description box below. Now I'm doing a fairly thick crumb coat because it's actually going to be the final coat on the cake as well. So I'm just piping all over the top and sides and then I'm just going to use my spatula just to smooth it down a bit. We're not looking for this to be very perfect at all. I just want to make sure that I've covered the cake completely and it's nice when you can see some little bits of the cake poking through and then some other bits that have a little bit more frosting. It just makes it look a little bit more homemade. Now I'm whacking this into the fridge to chill while I make up all my colors. I have listed in the description box all the colors I'm using, but basically what I'm doing is getting to a fairly light shade for all of them. And then I'm adding a little bit more food color in and just not stirring it very much. I want it to be a little bit gritty and grainy. Now, as you can see, all the piping tips are large piping tips, but they're all quite different to each other. But you're going to see in a little bit all the variety you can get out of these tips. Now, as you can see, I am going to be smearing the sides of these with some color as well. I'm just basically using the exact same color and I'm just making it look nice and gritty, like I said, and streaky because we just want little bits poking out that are a little bit stronger. Now for the cream color, I went ahead and used a brand new color that I have never tried before. It's an Americolor and it's called Blush. It looks super metallic-y, but it actually isn't. If you don't have something like an ivory or a blush though, you can go ahead and just use the plain cream. Honestly, I didn't notice it very much at all. It's time to get the cake out and get started with our piping. Now I'm starting off with the pale pink first. As you can see, there's still lots of variety to it. And this is the 2B, which is more of a closed star tip. I want to go over the top with the peach, which is more of an open star tip. It's the 1N. It's probably the tip that I use the most in all my cakes. For the ruby color, which is the darker pink, I'm using a 4B. And so that's really gritty and grainy. And that is great for adding little splodges. But you can also pipe the rosette style with that as well. I've kept the 1A tip on the creamy color and so I'm just doing little splodges of that. This breaks it up so that everything isn't quite as sort of ribbed and having the star tip for absolutely everything. I like the variety. Now I'm coming back and I'm going to be using the 2B as well as the 1M tips to make little splodges. It's times like this that you can notice that it sort of creates the same look whether you use the 2B or the 1M. Now it's time for my last color, which is this beautiful teal color. It is one of my all time favorite food colors. I love it. And I'm using a 366, which is a large leaf tip. I just think with all of these swirls going on, it's kind of nice to play up almost like they're little rosettes. And I just think adding leaves adds so much depth and dimension to this cake. Now, I wasn't sure what to do on the bottom of this cake. I was going to pipe and then I realized that in the cupboard I had freeze dried strawberries, which I absolutely love the idea of adding an extra layer of strawberry to this cake. So I've just added a little bit of frosting along the bottom and then I'm attaching a bit of those freeze dried strawberries like a border to this cake. 
This cake was so delicious and so yummy. And when I saw the freeze dried strawberries there, I couldn't help but add some on top. So I've written down the recipe. It's definitely worth a go. It's perfect for decorating because it's got lots of stability but it's also light and fluffy at the same time. And oh my gosh, adding the whipped cream into the buttercream was so good. It just added that little bit extra to tip it into this strawberries and cream flavor. Like I said, be sure to check out the blog. You can get the recipe there. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope that you like seeing all the different variety in these piping tips. They are some of my all time favorite ones. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I'll see you again next Friday with another cake decorating video.